Hi, I'm Peter Haddock from Content with Media, and we're here at Highways UK event at the NEC, and I've grabbed Rollo from the Seven Partnership um, to just basically talk to me a little bit about mobile mapping. We just done a presentation on mobile mapping, and I didn't realise you could strap this sort of stuff to the back of a car and, and literally map what you're doing. So tell me about mobile mapping and why is it becoming so important now? Um, well, it's, it's the evolution of technology. Yep. Um, it's become mobile. Um, a lot of systems are mobile now. It's, it's efficiency, but it's also safety. It's less boots on the ground. We know that we can put 80% less resource out on a project, less boots on the ground, less, less risk, less travel time, less traffic management, less disruption. Yep. It means we can uh, bring all of our workflows to an office-based environment. It's far more controllable and safe. And when you're saying that, you're, what you're doing is, is you're taking a vehicle or, or a device, a mobile mapping device, and you're able to do a huge area in a short space of time and you're not therefore having to have surveyors going onto site walking around and and actually putting themselves potentially in danger especially exactly. when we're talking about highways projects because exactly. you know those very very tight cones that you get on a highway site um, and things like that so that's great and how mm. then when you say you're taking it back to the office what what do you create there and how does that work the end product is a traditional survey deliverable, it's CAD, CAD drawings for the engineers to design from. Yep. And the reason as surveyors we use this technology is we have the workflows and we know what the end product is. Right. So we take the data, the raw data, the imagery and the point cloud, we take it back to the office and we have CAD technicians and surveyors turning that into drawings for the engineers, which they can design on in the same way they always have done with our data, yep. we're just collecting it faster and safer. And so what we're able to do is collect it, but you, it's not just faster safer, it's a more accurate, isn't it, with this new technology? On infrastructure, this is road and rail, you're pushed to working at night. Of course you are. You can't see very well in the dark, but lasers can. So lasers yeah. pick up all the information, and uh, our surveyors will go back to the office, look at the point cloud and say, I didn't even realise that was there. It could be a cabinet up an embankment, a road sign, some poor road markings that weren't very visible. Right. Now, all that becomes more visible with the laser data, and working in the office, we've got more time to look at the data, so we let on less time pressure, which is critical to a quality product. So what we're really saying about this is mobile mapping is now the new norm, really, or should be the new norm on site. It is for us. Yeah. It is for us. It's becoming, it's becoming more mainstream. Yep. Um, technical specifications still need to catch up. Right. It's not being asked for as much as it should be. We're having to um, educate clients, potential clients, as to what's available, and it, it is just as accurate, if not more accurate, than traditional methods and it's also faster and safer. So we're talking about the road construction in the UK here. We all see the cones out there. We all see there's a, oh, there's a lack of progress, but actually people like you and your team are actually doing this stuff at night when we don't even know. Exactly. So we're surveying it so that that information can be fed back straight away. Those engineers can make those decisions. We can get our roads faster and everybody's happy. Exactly, keep Brilliant. working. Fantastic, thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Cheers.